today we're going to talk about abs. The number one thing that helps my abs is leg raises, okay? Particularly my lower abs. Now, usually I do them with a, on a machine that has a, uh, like a half BOSU ball sitting in my lower back. So when I bring my legs down, I can stretch my lower abs. I don't have one of those today, but I'm going to just show you a hanging leg raise because the leg raise to me is like ab exercise number one. You're bringing your pelvic girdle up toward your torso, okay? So we're gonna start right here. So in these leg raises, I like to do sets of eight to 10. Remember, my abs are pretty weak. So you might be, you might be doing sets of 15 to 20. I use straps on these so my grip doesn't give out. And you may notice too, I'm keeping my legs straight. It's okay if you bend your knees. I just don't feel it as much in my hip flexors if I keep my legs straight. I feel more in my lower abs. Now, here's one other thing I wanna mention. When I'm doing these regularly, like three or four times a week, I literally feel my lower abs are sucked in. They feel better. And if I get lazy and I don't do these, I can feel that lower abdominal pooch, that bloating. My abs start to stick out. I hate that. So these, there's like a very, very noticeable effect of keeping my abs sucked in. So three sets here. For you, probably 15 to 20. For me, I'm doing eight to 10. Second ab exercise is gonna be something for your, more of your upper abdominals because you're bringing your torso now down towards your pelvic girdle. It's a simple rope crunch. I always remember the video of uh, Arnold in pumping iron when he was doing the rope crunches. I always think about that when I do these. So now we're gonna do rope crunches. When you come down, breathe all your air out, exhale, flex your abs, and suck them in, okay? When you're coming up, also suck them in. If you notice, a lot of ab work, I'm gonna tell you to suck your abs in, okay? So three sets of about, for you again, is gonna be 15 to 20. For me, it's eight to 10. And maybe you had cramps too in your abs when you're doing ab work. That is the most painful, brutal cramp I think you can get. You can't even move, you just kinda kinda lay there and stretch for 15 minutes. So second exercise, three sets here, rope crunches. All right, so you've done your leg raises, your lower abs, your crunches, your upper abs. Now we're gonna do an exercise now for your transverse abdominis, uh, TVA as some people call it. It's a really deep muscle. It looks like a, uh, they call it the girdle of your abdominal wall. Uh, something that's shaped like a corset. You'll read, the, you'll read, you'll hear that term a lot. But when you have these muscles activated and they're working, they also suck your abs in really good. Now, most people train this muscle by laying on their back, and I have no issue with that at all. I just have a little different way I've always done mine. This is a lat pull down crunch is what I call it. But what I'm really doing is when I'm stretching, I'm sucking in my abs. I'm trying to take my belly button to my spine. That's the cue that people will give you when you're laying on your back doing them. They'll tell you, take your belly button and push it down to your spine. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just doing it here. Now you may feel a really uncomfortable feeling right through here. If that happens, if that happens, you're doing it right. That's good. You're activating things that aren't normally getting activated. So I'm sucking in, pushing my belly button in, and then I'm blowing my air out and flexing my abs. All right, so now you, uh, you've done three sets here. Again, probably 15 reps for you. So you've done three sets of leg raises, three sets of rope crunches, three sets of these for your lat pull down crunches for your transverse abdominis. That's a very long ab workout. Now, the way I do it is I usually do a leg raise every time um, usually four times a week, but I don't always do the rope crunches and the TVA work. I'll do those maybe once, each one of them once a week. So the majority of my work is the, leg, is the leg raises, but you can do it either way. You can do all of them at once, three times a week, or you could do maybe leg raises and then the second exercise, you could do that three times a week. Just play around with it and see what works best for you. But if you're doing all three of those, particularly leg raises, you'll get good results in your abs.